There's squirrels in them there treetops. This is just a simple skills test. When you've got a bit of time on your hands, uh, you can do this at home or in the field. And uh, it keeps you um, up to scratch as far as your knife skills are concerned. And it's a uh, good practice. So far, we've seen deer and squirrels in this particular forest. So, uh, which is good. Uh, although it is difficult to um, trap uh, some of these, well, squirrels when you've got a little hooch with you. So, uh, but um, yeah, let's get on with it. Knife skills, a tri stick. Uh, first of all, let's get a brew on and uh, cook some food. Remnants of uh, a rat. That was like a raven has just totally demolished. Totally demolished it. Ravens do that. However, it could have been another animal, but that's been picked at carefully. Yeah, decent piece of fowl.
nem eu, hein? We got flame on. Let's gather all this around. Sandy piece of fat wood that I'm going to keep with me now. So guys, we've got the kettle on, and um, I just want to show you this little uh, new thing that I've made. As you can see, that's the old hook fin sign, and this is uh, this is very significant. And um, this is all to do with nature and so forth. And um, put some patterns on there, and we've got the hook fin carved into this side. It's something that was used uh, by the pioneers centuries ago to keep the gunpowder dry. So right now I'm using it for coffee and inside I have my little coffee uh, pouch. There's quite a, a bit of room inside. I have some toggles that I've put on top just to take it off. That doesn't look too bad. I'm yet to complete it, but I think I'm going to do something here, put some sort of fastening, so when that does come off, it, it always stays attached. But um, this is going to be a giveaway once it's completed, so I'm going to make sure it's absolutely mint, and um, then I'm going to do a post and announce when this is going to be made into some sort of, I don't know, competition or whatever. And, uh, and then we'll take it from there, I think. I'm gonna get the brew on now, guys, and then we're gonna look at some knife skills. We got ourselves a boil on.
I don't do nicely. is absolutely fantastic. It takes away the chill. Right, whilst that's cooking, what we'll do is we'll get on with the tri stick. So the lighting is a bit funky, all of a sudden the sun has come through, which is great, and it's got very windy. Contrasting weather. This is for the kids mainly, but uh, there is the blood bubble, so you would go around with your sheath on and make sure there's no one in your vicinity, in your personal space. Here, in this area, and in this area, we have some very important uh, arteries. Remember the triangle of death. If by any chance we slip, we could easily cut through an artery. And if you're out in the wild, you're pretty much on your own. So. One of the first things you can do is get yourself a piece of stick, could be anything, uh, preferably a soft wood, around about the length of your arm, thereabouts. And if you can, try and take the bark off in one long piece like so. The point of that is, once this is dried out, this could be used as uh, cordage. The technique that you could use for this is keep the knife straight and you pull the actual stick and what you've got there is you've got your knee as a support I think we better turn it over yeah it's looking pretty good nice and tidy no rush I'm going to leave the bark on this one as we start our first notch, first cut in a sense. So I'm starting at the thicker end and I'm going to do the crown notch. As you can see there, we hammer that, that now down into the ground. Say if we wanted a tent peg then, that's not going to split. Let me bring you closer for some of these other notches. So the next notch we're going to do is the latch notch or the seven notch. So if you wanted to make a trap, a figure four deadfall trap, then this would be a, a notch that you'd need to know. I tend not to use it because, well, for traps anyway, because uh, because I have a little dog with me, Badgie, for those of you, of you who don't know, and uh, she could easily be injured. That's why I really don't make traps, just if you uh, ever wondered. Some of you guys out there who are long time watchers. So 
first of all you start with a stop cut the stop cut you actually press in and wiggle your knife from side to side and then your first cut will when it reaches the stop cut obviously it stops and that's the aim of that one put your paracord around there hammer it in and uh, it's nice tight and secure plus other notches can fit in there and if you think about the figure four deadfall that's what you're looking at something like that so the next notch that I'm going to do is uh, the bail notch or the pot hanging notch so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the tricep over and I want to make a cross so you end up with a with a cross start off again cutting away from ourselves either side one there one there one there one there and that enables you to manage the temperature of your cooking always trying to cut away from yourself if you can I'm doing this quickly because we are on a short time scale. So I'm going in as deep as sort of at the pith of the, uh, the stick as a measure. Then what you want to do is try and, well, cut underneath the Bite that you create. You've got your main uh, branch, which is uh, the arm, let's say. The pot hangs here, or here, or here. Yeah? So you do the same, but the other way around, in a sense. Next we're going to do the square notch and again we're going to turn our tri stick over it's coming down maybe an inch from the other but you need two stop cuts and again I've got full control over the knife and I'm just rocking the wood from side to side then you start to cut away Around. And once you've done that, go a bit deeper. What you want to do is make sure that the base is flat. Now down to the pit there, on one side, this side we've got a bit more, a bit deeper. If you wanted to bind two pieces of wood together, the wood goes in there, let's say, and then you do your wraps and fraps and all that stuff all around to secure the wood. You can start off with a couple of stop cuts. And you want to cut towards the middle from either end. This type of notch is used for um, building log cabins, binding two pieces of wood together. We'll see in a minute why they call it a saddle cut or a saddle notch. Again I'm going to go in towards the 
the pit. And you don't want to leave or try and manage the knife so you're getting a nice round angle. So I've just hit the pith there, right in the middle. So I'm just going to refine this cut now. Where this would come into use is over, like so. And like I say, you see it on um, log cabins but it can also be used like this square notch here. It can be used as a, uh, as a method of binding two pieces of timber together. I'm in the middle of the tri-stick there. I don't want to do a stick reduction, a circular reduction or a square reduction. And I certainly do, don't want to do a mortise and tenon, right? Anything like that. So I'm going to do a bit of a pattern. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll the, the stick around the knife, creating a little cut, even cut, let's say. I'm going to take part of the bark off. I'm going to do this as a starting point. Then I'm going to put the knife at an angle and I'm going to do the same type of thing. So I'm just going to roll Try stick around, keep the knife at one particular angle of my choosing. Then you continue with the pattern, keeping your knife at the same angle. So I'm fairly happy with that. Then what I'm going to do is at the other end, I'm going to again roll the Try stick around so I want to create a nice finish to the uh, to that pattern. You can spend hours doing this, very relaxing and a form I think of meditation because when you're not speaking into the camera let's say you're, you're focused on your knife skills and it gives you a time to just chill out, relax. There's enough pressure going on in life and sometimes we just need ways to, uh, to switch off a little bit. So what I'm going to do now is uh, I'm going to follow the original lines that I've cut and the angle and I'm just going to follow that around at the same angle and again rolling the, the tri-stick now as you do this you might find that you're putting quite a lot of pressure on your thumb and uh, I'm afraid that just comes with the job. The more you practice, the less of a, I don't know, problem it becomes. I'm just peeling away the bark with my knife, not, not putting too much pressure on. If you get a good piece of wood that's on your side, then basically you can just peel it and it'll just follow like so. I'm not going to go in so deep because I've got a steak to eat. And whilst it's still making a noise there, so it's sizzling away, it's getting less and less. Uh, Sizzly, if you could say, if that's the right thing to say. And me and Badgie are hungry. How nice has it turned out? Beautiful, blue skies up above. 
I don't know what it's like as far as the camera's concerned, guys. You know, what, uh, whether it's interfering with the lighting and so forth. I certainly hope not, and I hope you can see clearly what, uh, what I'm doing here. If not, then it's just nice to hang out, isn't it? Nice to hang out. So, this is where we're at there. And I'm going to get out of, the, out of the light. So you can go as deep as you want. But I'm just showing you the technique. So time's moving on guys now, so what I'm going to do is, uh, I'm going to do a V-notch. If you need to make yourself a little drill, and a half and so forth, and you're going to do a primitive fire, then this is the type of notch that you want to make in your base plate, in your half. Again, it can be used for other things as well. What's Just going in as deep as the pith. And that's your V-notch. So next we're going to do a stick reduction. What we want to do here is we're going to again roll the tri-stick around the knife. And I'm going to do the same again. Alright, so, and thinking, trying to think ahead of the game in a sense, what I'm going to do is, I'll continue with this in a minute, but this is your, your the cut, the notch that you need to make if you want to strip bark. So, cut across, like so, so it's flat on this side, and then what you're going to do is, carefully, cut towards the pith, and as you can see, I'm just rocking the knife, and you have to be careful with this, because the, the, this is where the wood can split, so, we don't want that, do we? Just be nice and careful. Then where the pith is there, I'm just going to take that out. Like so. That's going through to the other side. Right there, badge. Root goes in there, and as you pull it, like so, as you pull it, it just strips the bark off for you. There are many notches, many notches to do. I'm just showing you a few today. But this is just a demonstration of how to use your time, how to chill, and how to manage your knife skills. You just keep on turning the tri-stick and as you do this you're learning another skill and that's feathering. But if you're making arrowheads, if you're making arrows, not arrowheads, well if you're making arrowheads what do you need? You need arrows. <laughs> So 
So we're getting to the point now on this side where it's done. Uh, I need to be careful I don't go too thin or we end up with possible liability. Roll the tri stick around. They should take care of them. Then what you can do is use the edge of your knife. If it's not got a 90 degree blade, you can use this side if you wish, but just to just smooth it out. So that's the type of thing that you're looking at there guys. So we've got the crown at the top, yeah, we've got the seven notch, then we've got the pot hanger, then we've got the square notch, the saddle notch, then we've got some decoration, yeah, then we've got the V notch, stick reduction, and then we've got the notch of notches to help you debark. So I'm going to call it there guys and um, yeah if you've learned something I hope you have learned something and uh, it's been useful uh, if not I hope it was entertaining to some degree. The bye bye Press the uh, notification button that's what I would suggest any new videos you'll be notified first if you've just subscribed I'm glad you're part of the community and uh, please leave a comment down below any suggestions and until next time guys I'll see you on the next hook fin ciao for now <laughs>